All right, we've got Mike Peterson here. If you have a question for him, raise your hand, I'll call on you. Spencer Nussbaum, we'll start with you, go ahead. Hey coach, how are you doing today? Good Spencer, how are you? I'm doing well. Um, just starting off uh, with Kennedy still out and Seattle coming up, um, are you thinking about throwing more unorthodox lineups or unorthodox looks um, that maybe we haven't seen in the past? I think I played all of those in the second game against Minnesota, didn't I? Uh, uh, I mean, I think we have a lot of different ways to play. Uh, and so it's a matter of finding the groups that play together the best. And that's going to be, whether Kennedy was in or out, you know, that's going to be part of the work in progress that we've talked about with this group from, from day one. And so, uh, I, I think we can function with some different looking lineups out there. And then it's a matter of finding the people that play together the best. So, uh, depends on what you call an orthodox, I guess, but you know, uh, at the start of the game will be pretty for us, pretty traditional looking. And then it just depends on the opponent, depends on who's playing well, a lot of that stuff. Spencer, do you have a follow-up? Uh, yeah, I have a different question. Um, when you look at the tape from the Minnesota games, I know before the games you said turnovers would have to be, you know, something you stress about. Obviously it didn't exactly pan out, but when you look back at the tape in terms of turnovers, is there, you know, your team needs to do better moving forward other than just, you know, making sharper passes? Yeah, sure. And, and those two games were just really different too. Uh, I mean, um, you know, the first game, frankly, you know, we played pretty well. We're in a game where, you know, we're in a one possession game. And if we do a little better job with that last possession, we get to go over time and see what happens. And we led for a lot of that game. So the second game, you know, we, we got, you know, hit pretty hard early and didn't respond the way that we wanted to. So they're different, but a, a lot of our turnovers were just, we played in a crowd too much. We didn't get good enough spacing. And some of that was what we did. And some of that, give credit to Minnesota. They are and have always been a really good defensive team. You know, they struggled a little bit early this season when they got off to that 0-4 start. Um, but they got, they got Collier back and they got their wheels under them. And, and all of a sudden, you know, they're back to being one of those teams that people thought might have a chance to win it. So some of it was us. You know, we got a little too deep in penetration. We didn't make great decisions sometimes. Um, but, you know, some of it was them. I, I thought they did a really good job in that second game of really congesting and really disrupting. Answer back to you. Yeah, and I think you kind of started to answer this, but I'm curious if you could kind of go a little deeper. Um, all season you've talked about, you know, creating chaos, creating disruption. Um, is there a way that you're most successfully able to do that where you're creating chaos, but you're not going too fast or... Mm -hmm. you know, you're not making those mistakes where you, you lead to 18 or 20 turnovers. Yeah. And frankly, every game before this last one, remember before the Minnesota trip, right? I mean, you know, we, we actually talked about this a little bit today during film. Uh, when we went on that trip, we were one of the leaders in this league, one of the leading teams that we were third, maybe, or fourth in points allowed off turnovers. And we were first or second in points created off turnovers. And then we went on the Minnesota trip and they did a good job and we did. Right. So, um, again, we're good when we trap, we're good when we trap ball screens. We're pretty good when we're in that one, three, one trap. Um, we're good when we've got good ball pressure with good support. Uh, the, the one thing I would say on the, on the Minnesota trip, for some reason, we didn't do a good enough job of getting the help. You know, we, we didn't have congestion off the ball. We, we've got to have good pressure on the ball, but we've got to have congestion off the ball. And for some reason against Minnesota, we really lost that. So we spent time on it today in, in practice and looked a lot better. Back to our main man, Spencer. You and me, Spence. You and me, daddy -o. That's what I like to hear. Um, I guess, obviously, you never want to end a trip going 0-2. But, but what was the most encouraging part about those two games where you say, oh, okay, at least we can build it off of, you know, X, or at least we can work from Y? Well, yeah, well, I, again, I thought we competed like crazy in the first game. 
You know what I mean? For us to give up 25 points off turnovers and still be in a one possession game. Goodness gracious. Uh, that's really competing. Uh, I thought getting Cheyenne minutes and getting in, in the first game was very much a test drive. You know what I mean? See what she can handle. The second game was more of a, okay, here we, here's where we can get her into rotations and then seeing how she tolerated that, how she handled it. I thought she did, especially in the second game, I thought she did a very, very nice job. And so, you know, that was very encouraging. And, you know, at, at the start of the season, obviously Cheyenne was somebody that was a huge part of our plans in terms of lineups and rotations and all of that. So I, I thought that was encouraging. Uh, you know, I, I thought the fact that we functioned well offensively, uh, aside from the turnovers, uh, in both games, uh, without Kennedy playing, was also encouraging. You know, we're whatever we are, fourth in the league, I guess, in points scored, right? And second in pace. And we came close to those numbers in those two games without Kennedy. And so that was really good. And don't get me wrong, we're going to be so happy when she's back, okay? And she's doing a great job with rehab and she's doing a great job with her day to day. And so uh, that'll be awesome when she's back. But, but for right now, uh, you know, I was pretty encouraged by the fact that, you know, we scored the amount of points we scored. All right. Thanks so much. Coach. Thank you. All right. We've got Shakina Strickland here. If you have a question for her, raise your hand. I'll call on you. Spencer Nussbaum, we'll start with you. Go ahead. Hey, Strick, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, I wanted to ask about a lineup Coach went with the other day uh, that had you and Cheyenne on the floor at the same time. Um, Coach Mike said he plans to return to that lineup definitely uh, in the near future. Can you talk about what, you know, having you and Cheyenne on the floor at the same time, what that does for your team? Uh, it does create a lot of spacing. Uh, a lot of spacing, and I think at the beginning when I get in, I know she hit a three, uh, tilt it wide. It it just opens the floor a lot more for um, court and tilt, you know, to get to the basket. Uh, so that that's that's big. Nicole, go ahead. Hi, this is Nicole from Remote Willie Renee, and I know it's now vacation season, but also the beginning of WNBA season, um, but. Are, what are you looking forward to as far as a vacation or where is a place that you would love to go on vacation? Oh, definitely want to get to Dubai, Jamaica, um, uh, something like that, uh, just to get away. Uh, I don't even want to use my phone or nothing, just relax. <laughs> Spencer, we'll go back to you. Go ahead. It's hard for me to follow up that question, but I'll try. Um, I know that your knee was giving you problems earlier in the year. Um, how do you feel at this point in the season? How are things coming along? I feel better. Um, we're still working on it. I just got to get it back stronger. Um, at times, it, it kind of feel weak. I just, I just got to get it back stronger and keep working on it every day. Um, getting treatment, continue every day. Uh, and I think my trainer probably getting tired of me, but I'm um, there every day just trying to get it better and get it stronger. Um, and hopefully I can be 100% real soon. And sir, if you have a follow-up, go ahead. Sure. Uh, I also wanted to ask about Crystal. Um, you know, she was obviously out of the league for a while, but she's been a, a spark on your roster. Um, what have you enjoyed about playing with her this season and what does she bring to your team, both, you know, energy on the court and from the bench? Uh, that she bring the energy on the court and off the court. She get in, she uh, make a big impact uh, as soon as she get in. And, you know, she always talking, um, always trying to bring that energy for this team. And even off the court, like if we need a laugh or something, we definitely gonna get it from Crystal. <laughs> um, she just fun to be around a great teammate. Um, she definitely uh, good for this team. Hey, and Spencer again, last follow up. Go ahead. Fantastic. Uh, just last question for me. Um, given that you're a veteran on this team, uh, how would you describe the you know guidance you're able to play give to the young players? Like, how would you describe either your leadership style or just how you kind of carry yourself for the younger players? Uh, me, I'm just I'm a one-on-one -on -one person. I I will talk to them uh, after practice or 
if even if I send someone with their head down or they feel in some type of way, I just go up to them one on one. I like to talk to them and you know let them clear their mind. And if I can help in a way, give them uh, you know help them out. Uh, but that's just me. I, I I'm definitely a one on one person. I go talk to them one on one and you know try to help any way I can. All right. Thanks so much, Rick. Thank you. All right, we've got Kennedy Carter here. If you have a question for her, raise your hand, I'll call on you. We will start with Spencer Nussbaum. Go ahead, Spencer. Hey, Kennedy, how are you doing today? Good, how you doing? Good, and it's good to hear that. Um, I'm curious just if there's an update on how you're feeling, uh, you know, what the doctors have told you and if you have any sort of estimate on your return. I'm feeling good, um, really just going day to day. Um, it's a bit of a work in progress because this is kind of the first time I've had anything done to my arm that was kind of a significant uh, injury that kind of hurt it. So I'm just taking it day by day. Um, it's kind of just an elbow sprain and a hyperextension. I had a, lot of, a little bit of swelling. Well, I will say a lot, but now I just have a little bit of, of swelling that's going down. And um, I think I should be back pretty soon, sooner than I thought, honestly. Spencer, if you have a follow-up, go ahead. Yeah, just since you say you will potentially be back pretty soon, um, I did want to ask about something on the court. Uh, the other day when I was asking Cheyenne about who she was, you know, most looking forward to play alongside, uh, she brought up your name. Um, what do you look forward to in terms of playing alongside Cheyenne? Uh, man, I mean, she's a post that can really do all things. She can shoot the three, and that's really important, just be able to shoot the ball, uh, just coming off the ball screen uh, with me and her. I'm really excited to play with her. Uh, when I get back, I know we'll have to, you know, work on chemistry because I've been out, she's been out. It's been a little bit of here and there, but as soon as we get going and as soon as we get rolling, I'm, I'm excited to play with Cheyenne. I mean, I think our pick and roll is, is probably going to be tough to guard and make defenders have to decide which one they want to guard, which one they want to pick. So I think it'll be spicy, us two. Nicole, go ahead. Hi, Kay. This is Nicole from Remotely Renee, and I know that how you doing? And I know that it is, um, again, I asked um, Shakira the same question. It's uh, WNBA season, also it's vacation season. But what's a vacation that you're looking forward to? Or is there any particular favorite place that you're planning to go um, as far as vacation is concerned? During the break? Whenever you want. <laughs> Man, whenever I get the chance to take a vacation, I would definitely go to somewhere that has a beach like. I don't want it to be in the States. It's gotta be out of, out of the country. It's gotta be somewhere. I gotta be like in the Virgin Islands or somewhere. Like I wanna be somewhere there just different. Maybe Jamaica somewhere like. Somewhere with an island and a beach. It's a way, that's my getaway. Doug Feinberg, go ahead. Hey Kennedy, I'm glad to hear you're on the road to recovery. Yes. The Barclays when you, you got hurt the other day. I'm just curious, how do you rehab an elbow injury? Because that's not something common, I would think, so to speak. So I do a lot of things throughout the day. Um, it just kind of depends. Some days are easier than most days just because it could be swollen from shooting a little bit. I'm actually working out there on the court a little bit more, dribbling, uh, going fast, fast speed with the ball, just making sure I still have the same change of direction and great first steps. So, But on the rehabbing part, you, it, it just – it really depends on how it feels. So I have to start with range of motion. I do range of motion every day. I do a lot of STEM to get blood flow moving and then sometimes to get the swelling out. And then we just did a new machine today. I don't know what it's called, but it was supposed to take some of the pain away that I was still having. So it varies, um, it, it changes every day, but I definitely have to continue to ice and continue to do range of motion and make sure that I get shots of it. Spencer, back to you for the last question. Go ahead. Sure. Uh, I also wanted to ask about Crystal Bradford. Um, she's obviously been a spark on this roster. I think it's pretty yeah, evident for sure. <laughs> from the videos and obviously what she's done on the court that, you know, her personality and just her play has been huge for this team. Um, can you just talk about in your words, you know, what she's brought on and off the court? I think Crystal is a special player just because she's tunneled in on what she can do and how she can perform. I mean, like you have to, 
understand she's coming from a different situation and being put out here and making big plays and doing big things for our team. So, I mean, I'm excited. I'm, I'm really happy for her right now in the situation that she's in. She's doing well. She's doing things that I, I wouldn't see myself do, like pulling up for a three-pointer when I have a layup. That's something that I wouldn't do, but she does it and she makes it. And, man, she just brings a smile and a joy to our team. I mean, she's a ball full of energy. I love playing with her. She can make me laugh if I'm having a bad day. And, hey, man, she can, she can crack jokes all day. So, I mean, she's a special player to play with, honestly. All right. Thanks so much, Ken. Mm -hmm.